Hello YouTubers, I'm Parwaze and this is our fourth video in C++ programming language. In this video we are going to talk about uh, using conditional statements in C++. Especially we are going to talk about the if else uh, condi conditional statement in C++. So using conditional statements we can execute uh, some uh, section of the code according to a condition. So, uh, particularly in this video, we are going to talk about the fails condition. Now, let me just show you the practical example, and you will be know about the concept of this. So, let me just remove uh, these uh, code from my previous video. Okay. <clears throat> now, uh, for example, uh, in here I have uh, a boolean variable. So, let me just call it uh, condition. So first, let me just uh, write the syntax of the if else if condition. For example, uh, now, so in here, this is the uh, syntax of if con if condition. Uh, so for example, in here, I'm checking that that if my this condition is true, I'm going to execute this statement. For example, whatever you want, you want to uh, 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 display something or uh, whatever you want according to this condition I am going to execute this code in here if the condition become false this statement will become false and we are not receiving anything so now let me just show you practical for example in here I am I have a bool uh, condition so let me just uh, copy this and paste it in here so by default it is true okay let me just make it true now if you see in here i'm saying that if my condition is true so you can see that my condition is true if the condition is true i'm going to just see out uh, and i'm going to just say that condition is true and uh, let me just uh, make it like this condition is true and end line okay now if the condition become false right now we are not going to talk about the if the condition become false but in the later part of the video we will talk about that now in here i'm going to check that if the condition is true i'm going to execute this code now if you see my condition is true and if i run this program Now you can see, based on my condition, I'm receiving this statement, condition is true. Because in here, my condition is true, and if the condition is true, this code will be executed. Now, if I change this to false, now it's the place that my condition become false, and it will not execute this code. So now if I run this, now you can see that i'm receiving nothing because this condition is right now not true and it is false and it will not execute this so now and here we are going to talk about the else condition now in here i'm going to just add else okay like this okay now in here i'm going to say that if the condition become false do this statement in here and i'm going to just say condition is false okay now in this code first i'm going to check this condition okay so if this condition is true i'm going to execute this code now if this condition become false i'm going to say that execute this statement like this now if i run this so let me just uh, run this okay now you can see that first it will check this condition now this condition is false after that it will check this condition now this condition became true and it's telling me this that condition is false first check this condition and after if it's true it will execute this code now if it become false it will execute this code so like this you can use if else condition now let me just uh, create a second example let me just remove this okay now uh, in here I'm going to just create an uh, int number 
and uh, let me just give it 12 now I'm going to uh, check okay so in here uh, I'm going to say a concept that also you can check multiple uh, uh, condition so this example is basically for the multiple conditions so in here I'm going to check that if my number is uh, for example uh, okay so if my number is uh, I'm going to check to uh, or let me just uh, okay if my number is uh, less than 10 I'm going to just say uh, C out and I'm going to say that uh, for example uh, number is uh, less than 10 so number is less than 12 and line and uh, let me just uh, this is C out, not count. Okay, let me change this to 12. We have 12 in here. Okay, so in here, first I'm going to check that if my number is less than 12, I'm going to say that number is less than 12. Now, after this, I'm going to uh, just check another condition using else if. So, in else if, I'm going to say that if my number is equal to 12, I'm going to see out that let me just copy this I'm going to say that number is uh, equal to 12 and the else condition I'm going to just say uh, see out that number is greater than 12 greater than 12 okay so in here first I've created a variable let me just uh, describe the code so first I've created an int number variable after that I'm going to check this that if my number is less than 12 I'm going to just do this statement and say that my that number is less than 12 and if I if else if the number is 12 I'm going to say that the number is 12 and at the else condition I'm going to just say that number is greater than 12 now if I run this code okay so right now you can see it's telling me that the number is equal to 12 because if you check here we have the number to 12 now if I change this to 10 because let me just describe because first to check this condition now this condition become false after that it comes to this condition and now this condition is true and it will uh, just return this statement the C out statement now if I change this to 10 I should receive the first one because it will check the first one and because the condition became true and it will print this statement so let me just run this okay now you can see that number is less than 12 because we have 10 in here and if I change this to 13 and if I run this I should receive this last else statement you can see that the number is greater than 12 because we have 13 in here at first check this condition so now the in here the condition become false after that check this condition this also become false and at the end we have else and if check if it check this condition and now this condition became true so like this you can use if else uh, and also else if condition so now let me just show you another example now we're going to just make a little complex example and we are going to just uh, do our example based on the user input so now let me just remove uh, these codes from here okay now this example is based on the user input so I am taking the input from the user two numbers and um, I will check the condition uh, of that two numbers so in here first I'm going to just create int a and 
also int b like this okay now I'm going to just see out and I'm going to just say please enter a number and I'm going to just inline and after that I'm going to get the number from the user get the input from the user and store that in my int a variable now let me just do this copy this because I want the second number also so please let me just say this first number and just say this second number and I want to store that in my B variable now I'm going to just check at the condition my okay now in here I'm going to say that if a is greater than B I'm going to just say C out and uh, I want to say that uh, a value is uh, greater than B than B value or just say than B and end line okay so now in the else if so else if I'm going to just say if my a is equal to B so if this was I'm going to just say let me just go copy the copy this C out and uh, I'm going to just say that a and uh, B uh, values are equal like this okay and in the else condition now in this condition I'm going to just say that uh, uh, a value is so let me just copy this a value is uh, smaller than B smaller than B so just we have a simple a uh, program uh, so I'm I have created just two variables after that I'm going to just get the input from the user and uh, the first number I'm going to just store that in the A variable and the second number I'm going to store that in the B variable after that I'm going to check so if my A is greater than B I'm going to just say that A value is greater than B and if it is equal I'm going to just say A and B are values are equal and in the else condition I'm going to just say that A value is smaller than B so now let me just run this okay now I'm receiving please enter number so first let me just enter uh, 10 please enter second number for example 5 now you can see that a value is greater than B because in a we have 10 and in the uh, B we have 5 now let me just run it again okay now let me just enter 5 in here and 10 in here so 10 and you can see that a value is smaller than B because in a we have 5 and in B we have 10 now let me just run it again and if I say 5 and also 5 you can see a and B values equal so like this you can use if else condition in C++ if you have any question please let me know and for the further videos please subscribe to my channel like the video and also share the video